Hello, welcome back to the Vengeance Insert channel. I'm just looking through my storage right now. I've been on this kick where I just have been cooking and cooking and cooking. Uh, I've been trying to cook down all of this grain and now I'm working on chicken meat, but I've ran out of cooking utensils, so I figured that I would go through the process of replenishing my cooking utensils. Uh, most most big content creators I've seen or I've watched on Black Desert, they just they don't show the process. They say, "Oh, just go here and do this, or go here and do that." Well, if you're completely new to the game, that doesn't help very much. Um, anyone that anyone that knows it, it's going to seem boring to you. But I don't want to get in the habit of making videos that are just like, "Oh, here's the process. Go do this." and never really shows anything um, I think I think both kinds of videos are good but I think people are moving too fast and you know, sometimes it's just good to chill and and just hang out and just play some games you know <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through the process uh, I've already got a lot of gear as far as like gathering and stuff goes. I'm not gonna go over that too much. If you need gear, you can always run up to the Logia farm up here and then talk to Camellia Logia. Uh, you can buy any any gear you need up there. Uh, it's not gonna be as good as the Manos gear that I'm wearing, or the accessories won't be. But it's somewhere to start. And I may do a video in the future on on that stuff. But for now, I need to make cooking utensils. To start out, you need a workshop. I already have one here in Heidel where... Let me close that back down. I already have one here in Heidel where uh, I have most of my junk. It's the 74 one. There's a bunch of different ones you can make, but I like to make the advanced cooking utensils, and it takes this, these different materials down here, um, blackstone powder. You can add, either have your workers make in the mineral workshop, or you can grind down some crystals and get that. Um, I already have quite a bit of that, so I'm not going to gather that. Iron. Just take the iron ore and melt it down. Um, your workers will get the iron. There's several nodes around, and there's a lot of different guides out there that have that have those already lined out. So in this video, I'm not going to go over that either. What I'm going to be mainly going on is showing where I gather rough stone and where I gather the um, logs because you need you need to grind down rough stone to get the polished stone and you need to uh, chop down logs not not like timber logs just regular logs um, to get the usable scantling so I'm just gonna go gather a few of those things and bring everybody on my way let me change this outfit I was in my cooking outfit Let me get out the axe. Okay. Jump on the horse. I usually just go right outside of Hydel here. Uh, I don't have a particular uh, type of timber that I'm looking for, so I just park my horse over here. Right outside the left side of Hydel. And, and I'm just going to walk around in a circle. That on. Uh, if you got buffs or anything, you can, if food, you can do that too. I have one of these uh, life spirit stones on, but it's it's minimal because I'm at the gathering level that I'm at. So I have almost 1,300 mastery, um, so there you go. 
and why it says there we go. I don't know why it was hovering over him hunting. But there's the rates with the 1280 mastery that I have. Um, and I'm just going to do a few of these. No, oh, ash timber and logs. Anytime I need uh, logs, uh, this is where I come. And you see, I already got 13. Not fantastic by any means, but by the time I get to the bottom of my 460 energy, it's probably going to be several thousand. Um, I think I already had 600 in storage, so I'm not going to do this very long. I'm going to. I will move on and go to the uh, rough stone. And that goes to show where the uh, profit is because I got two of those deep blue hoof roots. That's five mil right there um, if you have a value pack. Probably not quite five mil, probably closer to 3.8. There's been a recent game that has come out. Just something to talk about while I run through one iteration of these trees here. I've seen a lot of other big content creators on, on YouTube uh, recently. I'm recording this pretty much day of, so it's like it's February 9th for me here. Um, It'll probably be the tenth whenever this goes up, but you know, Lost Ark is a big uh, subject right now because of Amazon releasing it, and the Founders packs and stuff. I haven't played it, but I've watched some gameplay on it just because I was curious. And anytime a big game like that comes out, there's always there's always people in the chat on whatever whatever game you play. You know, talking about, oh no, it's the next big thing, and leaving to go play it. And they always come back. But, I don't think Black Desert is going to be, um, like, I don't think it'll be dead. The, just before I hit record here, the um, chat was talking about, I need to turn that off. I usually turn that off recording. Uh, they were talking about how all the high-end grind spots were just empty. There was nobody over there. I'm going to have to turn my pet's aggro off because it keeps pulling these foxes. They were talking about there was nobody around. All the grind. Game is dead. And it's like, well, you know, just because people take a break doesn't mean the game is dead. And that, all the content that I've seen on Lost Ark, like, there's all these people talking about what it's like at end game. It's like the game hasn't even officially released yet and you guys are already talking about end game. It, you know, these people that have uh, put in hundreds of hours in the closed beta already, they've burnt themselves out and the game hasn't even hit release yet. I mean, if you got a Founders Pack yet, you get like a three day pre-release, but, but what's the point in doing that, really? And, and if anybody out there watching this has, has the answer to that, like what's, what's the point in putting in hundreds of hours in closed beta, burning yourself out on a game before it even releases, and then basically tell every, anyone and everyone, game is dead, no content, blah blah blah, and, and anyone that plays MMO RPGs has ran in, you've run into this, it happens quite frequently. But if anyone can tell me the mentality on that, just leave a comment and explain it to me because I really don't understand that mentality. I can understand being excited about a game. I mean, games have been a big part of my life since I was a few years old. You know, I, I started with a NES and I've just gradually moved up from there. Um, but I don't understand. 
all the hype and everything. I understand that. I understand it being excited and wanting to play a game, but I don't understand day one of release trying to make the most efficient way possible to, to and with air quotes, beat the game whenever it's an MMORPG. The game's never truly going to be beaten. Yeah, you can rush through content. You can be a content locust fly through hundreds of hours or thousands of hours of content in the most efficient way possible in a few hours and then you're sitting dead at the end of the game just twiddling your thumbs and sitting in chat telling everyone else how the game is dead it doesn't it, it serves no purpose and I don't know if, if that's just been the instant gratification generation that we've all kind of gravitated towards with with how modern technology and, and, and you know just how society is like oh I need it now I want it now and most things you can get immediately when you want them it's just very strange to me but I figured I would turn the recording on and just talk a bit about it because as I said it has been has been pulling at me and I have watched several good MMORPGs. Well, good being a subjective term and really to each their own, right? But I've played several in the past that I had a lot of fun with and I've just watched them fall apart due to either terrible management or because of these style of players that are content locust and they just sit and they spam how the game is dead all the time and it, it's just it's frustrating very 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 frustrating And I don't know how much of this we can uh, a credit to big streamers, big content creators. You know, you're always pushing for the next big thing. What what can I do that's going to make me stand out and make me go viral? Well, stop worrying about that so much. If you have genuine content, people are going to want to watch it. Now, nobody, nobody, there may be nobody that watches this, but I'm of the opinion that we're all moving, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, we're all moving way too fast. You know, you, you, you're skipping the journey when the end isn't even worth it. Um, I think that there's another big MMO, Guild Wars 2, that got glossed over. I tried to get into that game and with the expansion on it coming out very soon, I thought about trying to get back into it, but that game just didn't sit right with me, but I like the way they did it, you know, it's like, you're not rushing to end game. You're, you're experiencing the game along the way. And, uh, with, with, uh, the big content creators in these games, and I did mention this whenever I first turned the recording on. You know, you've got you got people giving guides and doing all these things, and and they're saying, oh, we'll just do this to be the most efficient. But then they don't show the process of actually doing it. You know, and watching somebody walk around and gather trees may be the most boring stuff on the internet, but at least it shows where you're at. You know, and I open my map just I'm over here in this forest, just walking around talking while I grab trees and I'm not just gonna cut it all out and I'm not gonna just snap my fingers and movie, movie magic go from having no logs to having logs. See I'm already at 386 and it's only been a few minutes. Um, so I can chop those down and get the usable scantling out of it but I'm, I'm bored of gathering I'm bored of gathering trees so I'm gonna go dump all this crap in storage it should be enough for me to chop down into I don't know quite a few usable scantlings I only need four per per uh, cooking utensil 
So it should be enough to get me, uh, you know, quite a few. And uh, I don't want anybody to sit here and watch me dump my whole em energy pool into gathering trees. And you know, it, that is boring. And I can talk probably forever, but that's not doing anybody any good. Dump all this stuff in storage. Now the next part that I'm going to need are a bunch of rough stones, which I gathered about a thousand of those the other day, and I will show on the map where I go to do that. But if I run over there, this video is going to be 40 minutes long because it takes absolutely forever to run that far. So I'm just going to show on the map and then go to another spot and gather. So I go from Heido, and I just come over here and I tell my horse to run to Sandgrain Bazaar. So if you just right click, if you're a new player, you just right click, get out of the map, and then hit T. It'll auto path over there, and then you're actually going to run here in Pilgrim's Haven. Um, there is no way to auto run from here to Pilgrim's Haven, so you have to manually run, and it's through the desert, and it sucks because then you. They took off the debuff for either nighttime freezing or daytime heat stroke because of the world events that were going on, but they have since added that back, so you're going to have to get either um, purified water or some tea to combat those two things. So it's just kind of a pain in the butt now. Uh, to go gather over there, but that is still the best spot to get rough stone is the big tall rocks that are here around Pilgrim Haven. You'll get thousands of rough stone in no time at all. If you don't want to deal with that, then you can just go to this next spot that I'm going to go to. And this is the spot I used to go to before I um, got a higher mastery and just decided and a faster horse because it was very inconvenient for me to run all the way over there. But what I used to do is come here, out the west gate of Heidel, just run here, park my horse, you get the pickaxe out, and then just run along here and pick up rocks. And over time, you will get plenty of rough stone. And this doesn't have to be the only spot, but it's just nice and close to my home base I guess you'd call it and I can run up this road on the left side run over these rocks and if any of them are harvestable it'll pop up and get it and you just run on um, I said it's by no means the most efficient but when you need a quick We need quick several hundred rocks. It doesn't take very long even running up here with this view of nodes or little gathering spots as there are. It doesn't take very long at all. And since I already have um, a thousand rocks, I'm just going to run up and then down. See, I gather all these, and there are a couple spots here, like right down on the water, where there's like five or six of these nodes all next to each other down here. There's two, three down here, all in here, and then on up here there's another section where there's a bunch. Yeah, I see a lot of these down through here are gatherable. And there was my phone going off. I forgot to turn it on vibrate. Sorry. Yeah, a lot of those are gatherable. Uh, then I just run back up and along this this edge, or along that mountain over there. And most of that stuff is uh, gatherable along there. There's quite a few. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back to storage and actually process the ones that I already have real quick before I cut this video off. Just to give an average guide guide, you know, and I, 
I have to reiterate, I have seen, I've seen the bigger content creators who say, oh, go buy, go buy a cooking utensil from the cook person, put it down, and it's great if you're starting out. Well, quite frankly, those cook, those cooking utensils suck really bad. So you can craft your own. You just have to have one worker repair this junk and get this crap out of my inventory. You just have to have one worker in Hido, or whichever town you're doing it in, and you need a level 3 uh, tool workshop. Dump all this junk in storage. Alright, so we need usable scaling. We're going to pull out several logs. We'll pull out several of those. Okay. Crafts closed just so I have higher mastery just because I can. I do have another storage space. If you buy a house to use for storage, what's grinding? What's chopping? Put the chopping stone on. Okay. So hit L. It's gonna bring up the processing window. Look on chopping. Right click the logs in there. Now if you have one of those stones, you can do mass process and it'll do a bunch of them at once. Otherwise, you just hit start and it'll do them as it goes. Uh, as your mastery goes up, it's gonna get you're gonna be able to do more and more. But you gotta have the stone to do the mass process. But back to what I was saying, you know, they say go get go get a cooking utensil from the from the cook and just throw stuff in there, and cook. You know, and here's a good recipe. Go look up how to do it. Well, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but the purpose of making the video is so that you don't have to go somewhere else and look it up. So this may be long and convoluted just to make a stupid cooking utensil, but at least it's not an elitist talking, giving a half-assed guide, I guess you'd call it. Well, the easiest way is to just go grind monsters and buy them off of the, the market. But they're always on pre-order. The advanced ones are the best ones that you can make because they cut down the cooking time. There's 8,000 orders. I'm too impatient to be waiting for on RNG to do 8,000 orders. Especially when I burn through one of those uh, 900 durability cooking utensils in a matter of minutes. As soon as this thing procs and actually does the mass chopping. That's the problem with mass chopping. If it fails and it starts all over and it takes 60 seconds to do it. So you're just sitting here staring at the screen unless you can get up and go do something else. While I was doing this, I'll go back to you here. You don't have to do it in 7.4 if you're in Heidel. Um, if you come up here to this little thing up in the corner, you can go and go down to Tool Workshop. And then select your level. You need a level 3 for the advanced ones. There's several in Heidel. It's 8.4. 5-3 and 7-4. I have 7-4 because I have a bunch of other ones already. 5-3 is probably going to be the cheapest um, just because you only have to buy 5-1 and 2 but keep noted that in my case I had to buy 7-1, 7-2, 7-3 and then 7-4. Um, but once you have the materials you just hit manage crafting. You assign a worker Pick whatever you want to do, sign a worker, and then whenever this comes up, you'll do however many times you have enough materials for, and then just let them go. And your stuff will appear in your storage of the town that you're making it in. Alright, this is starting to bother me. Come on, guy, you're running the video. For the sake of this video, 1200 mastery. We're just going to hit start so it just chops a few. Now the melted iron shards, if you have a worker somewhere close to a town, you just invest in an iron node somewhere, which again I'll use Hydel as an example because I have Hydel here. Uh, you, put, you put your contribution points into this node, put your contribution points into this node, and then you'll have to click on this and put it into this node. I don't remember how many points they are, but once you have that in there, you'll need a second worker 
click on that and you can tell it how many times to gather I've got mine set to, to max just so he does it over and over again he'll get the raw ore it'll go into your hypo storage then all you gotta do is take it out and use the processing to melt it down um, which iron ore that's so many, there it is, right there. They just pull a few of these out. Hit L. Select melting. Put it in there, hit start. And then you just do that for however many times you need um, the requirements for the, for the cooking utensil. So you have the melted iron shards, do the chopping on the logs, you'll have the scantling, and then the last one is grinding on the rough stone, and that'll give you the polished stone. Now for blackstone powder, you'll have to have uh, a mineral workshop for your workers to grind it down. Uh, if you want your workers to make the... Here, we'll stop this real quick. If you want your workers to make the blackstone powder, which is very, very inefficient and I don't recommend doing, I have a mineral workshop here. You can select it. It takes 30 rough stone to make 15 black stone powder and they'll do it but they'll eat through your rough stone you'll be gathering all the time like crazy just to keep up with it um, the best thing to do is to buy crystals off of the market I just come here to magic crystals and I just select through these and I select them by item grade I usually buy the white ones or the green ones, the white ones are the cheapest. Buy a bunch of these. Get them out of the warehouse into your inventory here. And you grind these up. Just grind them up like you grind the rust stone. And voila, you'll have blackstone powder in no time at all cost a little bit more but it's very very quick and it's more cost efficient than having your workers grind down blackstone powder but once all that's done you can just go and select your shop you got all your ingredients in there make sure you meet the requirements select whichever work you're gonna do come down select your advanced cooking utensil tell them to do it hit start and in 30 minutes or depending on what grade your worker is in you'll have a brand new cooking utensil and it'll appear over here in your storage so that's really all I got uh, I'm gonna end this video off um, after giving a little bit of a rant on how most guides and gamers are just they're just content locusts and they just play way too fast they don't enjoy anything anything anymore but I think that's what people really miss you know from the wild days people enjoy games they need to just play through them just to see who can get through them fastest but that's neither here nor there um, if you made it in the video this far thanks for watching um, hit the subscribe button I'll, I try to upload daily um, it, it really helps out the channel if you like it and leave comments and stuff and I always like listening to the feedback and seeing it it helps so we all only have so much time, and thanks for spending, you know, half an hour of it with me, just listening to me ramble. And I think that's the greatest gift that anybody has to give, is, is time. So, I will see you guys in the next video, and until then, enjoy.